After special counsel Robert Mueller's indictment of 13 Russian nationals and three Russian companies on conspiracy charges related to an online propaganda effort, it's appropriate to take stock of what's real. The indicted companies, Internet Research Agency and two companies used to finance it, are popularly referred to as a troll farm. These are home bases for online propaganda tools which seek to amplify a particular message or narrative of events. The tools they deployed were a combination of bots, or fully automated fake accounts, sock puppets, accounts created by one individual pretending to be someone else, and full-blown troll accounts. These accounts are layered into the authentic, relevant, and meaningful human fabric of social media. Their purpose is to spread false information, or fake news, and to make fringe opinions seem more relevant and powerful than they really are. In other words, they're working to make Americans on either side of the political divide seem crazy to one another. The goal of these bad actors and others is to harden your views and attitudes and to deepen the political divide in this country. A recent New York Times article detailed some of the ways these efforts have worked. The most startling case? Russian trolls created two dummy organizations, the Heart of Texas and United Muslims of America, and organized a pair of opposing rallies for the same day at the same location. People showed up at both the Stop the Islamization of Texas rally and the Save Islamic Knowledge rally. They faced off outside an Islamic center. In the aftermath of the massacre at Majory Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, Facebook was set upon almost immediately by bots using hashtags both for and against gun control. So how does one sort out what's true and what's not online? Start by spending more time with known, credible, and trusted news sources. And spend more time discussing the issues with people you respect and trust, over coffee, over the phone, wherever, as long as it's nowhere near your keyboard or smartphone. Life is too short to spend it bickering with strangers, or worse, sock puppets and bots. It's time to stop feeding the trolls and the companies who harbor them.